for your sake, because I love you and your mother. Mother? Did you say mother? I don't have a mother. Oh, I know you're angry now. Johnny, but you'll see, I, I had to do it because Tad was, was wrong for you and he was wrong for Dixie. You had no business deciding that mother. I thought I was only trying to help you. You invaded my privacy. You took a tape. You made copies. You played it on the cutting edge live. Thank you very much. One day you're going to say those words and really mean them. How could you? You have ruined Dixie and Tad's marriage, their lives, and you have destroyed mine. Word used to come so easy for me. There's nothing I could say that would make you feel any better. I... I know I don't deserve it, but I wanted to... I just wanted to explain. Tell me why you thought it was worth risking everything we are, everything we have, our lives together, our marriage. I want to understand, please. Make me understand. I love you. You know I love you. Please believe that. I know it's not enough to say the words that there's nothing I could do to make up for what I did. But I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I didn't want it to happen. But it did. I slept with Liza. After you practically accused me of single-handedly killing Laurel, you moved out, okay? I thought our marriage was over. You told me it was over. I was an idiot. Listen, you're the most important thing in the world to me. Come on, don't do this, okay? Please, it's just... Do whatever you want to, okay? Scream, shout, hit me, whatever you want. I deserve it, I know. But just don't shut off, okay? Talk to me. I know. I look at you, Tad, and I don't know who you are. Are you... Is this the man that I fell in love with? Is this the man that I married? The man who... Didn't buy me while Junior was born? Of course born? it is. I'm still the same man. No, I don't think so. You are a man who has lied to me over and over and over. You are the man who thought I was such a stupid idiot that I would never suspect that you cheated on me. Because I didn't want to hurt you. You didn't want to hurt me. I just wanted <laughs> to protect you. Now you expect me to stand here and listen to some sad story about how low and lost you were one night. How your error in judgment was meaningless because it was only once. What do you expect me to do, Ted? You just want me to, like, nod my head and ask you what you want for dinner? No, that's not what I expect. <laughs> Thank you so much. We didn't just share a bed. How could you? next to me night after night how could you make love to me because it didn't mean anything to me oh, three kisses right you swore that's all there had ever been well how was she dad was it worth it Liza you're obviously still in shock don't look having your your private life aired publicly like that can be embarrassing embarrassing 
Now, yes, it can be even traumatic. I understand that, but you'll see. Getting all that poison out of your system, you're going to feel so much better. You are the only poison I have ever known in my life. But once the dust settles, you're going to feel differently. And even Dixie's going to feel grateful to me. Don't be a fiend, Mother. I mean, she could have gone on for years not knowing what kind of monster she was married to. How can you even think that what you've done is help? Well, you're going to be singing a different tune when you see Tad sleeping on the office couch. Mother, I may not even have an office. You just blowtorched the mother of Adam's son. Well, Adam is too smart to jeopardize a good business arrangement. What you I... don't know about Adam could float a battleship. And this was not about protecting my job. And this was not about destroying Dixie and Tad's marriage. Although that was a convenient perk. You were aiming this right at me. You wanted to make sure absolutely positively that I would never have a relationship with Tad. And you wanted him to hate me. Well, that is not true. What's going in your mind? Would you think we could just work together? Oh, no, she'll just get another job. Nice, but she won't have Tad. You are hysterical here. I mean, you cannot blame me for what happened between you and Tad. I did not commit adultery. No, not this time you didn't. Look, I played that tape. I'm out of love for you. Don't, don't, don't cry and don't use the word love. You don't even know what it means, Mother. Oh, and you do. Yeah. As an observer, true love, that's what Dad and Dixie had. I want the marriage to be fixed, Dad. I want forever to be forever. That's not possible with you. So I'm taking the teaching job in Pigeon Hollow. And Junior and I will leave tonight if I can arrange it. Tonight? Well, you couldn't give it to the end of the week. You couldn't give it. You couldn't give it twenty-four hours. Then. No, I have to go while I'm still strong enough. Would you listen to yourself? Does this sound right to you? Yes, it does. No, no, it doesn't. There's got to be something I can say to stop you. You tell me what it is. I say it. You tell me what There's to nothing. do. I There's do it. Nothing. That's it. This Anything. Is... No, I will do it. Nothing, Dad. This is not because. I'm, I'm right, and you're wrong. That's not why I'm going. Then why go at all? Because it's best for both of us. What about our family? You want to punish me, punish me, but don't punish yourself. Don't punish Junior. I need you. And I don't want to lose you. I already gave you everything, Tad, everything I am. I gave you my heart, my dreams, my body, my thoughts, my words. It, it was a gift, freely given, but you squandered it, and now it's gone. I can change. I don't know about that, Tad. I don't think I want to stand around wondering whether you have. Every woman that you walk down the street with, every woman that you talk to, I'm going to think twice about. Didn't you... We survived so much together. Didn't you ever wonder why? It wasn't just the love. I mean, millions of people have that. It was the trust. Don't you feel the emptiness? It's gone. We can get it back. Let me prove it to you. Let me try. Can you promise, can you swear that you will, no matter what the temptation, never ever hurt me again? If you were human, I would feel pity for you. Liza, that's a terrible thing to say. Why? Because a decent daughter would never say that about her mother? 
Well, I'm not a decent daughter, and you are not a decent mother. In fact, you are no mother at all. I would feel pity for you if I had capacity for regret. Children, they learn virtues, morals at the knees of their parents. The lessons that I learned, they were different. How to cheat and not let anybody see. How to look your opponent in the eye while stabbing them in the back. And perhaps the most invaluable, how to lie to cover the cheating. What's a little mud on the soul as long as you come in first place? Nothing is too morally corrupt. Aren't you proud of me? I said, that is not what I taught you. It wasn't a gift. It was a commodity. You use it. You barter with it. But never, ever make it personal. You can lie, you can cheat, you can backstab, you can hurt. As long as you don't get caught. Well, congratulations, Mother. You are the perfect student. And boy, I graduated. And what am I supposed to be? Marion Jr.? Some clone? Lonely? Pathetic? And demonically loyal? Guess what, Mother? Of all the things you taught me, Loyalty wasn't one of them. Would you please send a guard in here? And I said, what are you doing? Lesson number 203. You remove what stands in your way. Could you uh, please make sure she leaves the building? I have never needed help with an exit in my entire life. You can disown me all you want, Liza. You will never break the bond. Never. Excuse me. Make sure she leaves. Well, my kid. <sighs> right now, I tell you anything you wanted me to tell. You wanted me to tell you. Oh, we both know that what that means. Don't yeah. We? Yeah. It means that I love you more than it. It means that I can't get up in the morning without thanking God that he gave you to me. But it also means that you're not 100% positive, that you don't know that you'll never, ever hurt me. Oh, God. For God's sake, Dixie, what person on this entire planet and swear they're never going to make a mistake for the rest of their lives. I can't. I want to. But you know me too well. I can't. But I, I can't, I, I can't lose you. We are, we are. Oh, don't hate me, please, don't hate me. I don't hate you. Listen, I called Petra and I asked her to pack some stuff for me to rest. I'm going to ask her to mail to Pigeon Hollow. Uh, it's Jocelyn's um, week for the carpool uh, for Jamie, 8 o'clock sharp every day. I took some money out of the account just to get me down to West Virginia, okay? Whatever you need. Well, I'm going to be getting a salary in a few weeks, so it won't be a problem. 
Um, I have a lot to do. I have to talk to Adam, and I have to make arrangements with Junior, so... Don't. I'm... Please. Don't say it. Don't say goodbye to me. 